Good evening, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back once again. Well, made it through another day of this uh, COVID-19 virus, which we are not afraid to say on this channel. I know a lot of people are so freaked out about it. I'm just readjusting the camera here so we can get a better angle. I don't know why it's not. Uh, uh, here we go. Wasn't really focusing on me there. Um, but we're not afraid. We are not afraid to say it. That being said, I want to know something from all of you out there. I want to know what you all like to eat um, during crisis times. And I actually put this question out on Twitter, um, probably where a lot of you guys are going to come and, and give me your, uh, your opinions or what you guys and gals like to eat, a.k.a. comfort food. Now, let's face it. During crisis time, we all got to have something to cling to. We got to have that the ray of hope, that ray of sunshine, or in some of our cases, we just need some plain old comfort food. We need something to coat our stomachs, to make us feel a little bit better and say, you know, everything's going to be okay. Um, so I'd like to know. That's pretty much what this live stream is going to be about. Now we can talk about other things as well. I don't mind that at all. Um, but I'd like to know what your comfort food is. So put that in the comments. Um, now, I will tell you a couple of mine. Number one, um, I love Hershey's. I love pretty much anything Hershey puts out. Um, this is just one that I've eaten quite a bit of lately, probably a little bit more than I should have, but this is the uh, Hershey's pretzel and peanuts. And oddly enough, if you look closely, you can probably notice a Target or a Target clearance sticker. These were originally, what, 99 cents? They were marked down to 68 cents. I actually got them for 45 cents. They were marked down even further than that. Uh, apparently, a lot of people did not like these very much. So, uh, yay me, I was able to get them. And these are actually aren't too bad. These are only 220 calories for the whole bar. So, I don't feel too guilty after ingesting those. And I think we got a cat fight going on back here. I can hear it in the background. Baxter and Milo are going at it, but that's all right. That's what cats do. So what did I get up to today? Well, before, well, waiting for you guys to give me what you want to eat for comfort food. Um, I did get out to the thrift store. I took my bike out because uh, it is very important to keep up your strength. You want to get regular exercise. That'll keep your immune system boosted and basically make you feel good, help you ward off any type of viruses or whatever is out there, not being at all specific. Um, but I was able to go out to the thrift store. Didn't really find too much. Nothing really super great to speak of. It was just a keyboard. And I was able to actually put that on the back of my bike, believe it or not. I was totally shocked. Um, actually, I have these little side saddles that if you look back in a few vlogs of mine, you'll actually be able to see them. All right. We got some responses here. WW Souls likes pizza and chocolate. Uh, love them both. Um, not as big of a pizza fan. I am becoming much more of a chocoholic, though. I am being very good about it. Um, I've gotten up to the point where I can eat 86% pure dark chocolate, or they call it midnight chocolate. And that's what I recommend ingesting. That's the healthiest form of dark chocolate, or say healthiest form of chocolate. You can actually even go darker than that. Uh, they have dark chocolate up to uh, 94, 95%. Don't know if I can handle that, but um, yeah, do love my, they'll love me some chocolate. Most people are avoiding it right now, but beef with broccoli from Chinese. <laughs> Isn't that pathetic? People don't want to eat Chinese food because of this. It, it doesn't matter. They're not getting this stuff from China, folks. Um, I would say yes, except for me, it would have to be chicken and broccoli because most of you guys probably know, guys and gals probably know that I am allergic to beef. But yeah, that's great. George Blake III, pizza, corn chips, and cookies. Oh, Cookies. Yeah, cookies are a weakness. They are mine in the past for sure. Donair and Vietnamese food from Hired Gun. I am, honestly have no idea what that is, but if that's what you like, great. I mean, that's the key. You want to eat things that are going to make you feel good, but also are going to keep you healthy during these trying, troubling times. So that being said, 
other than comfort food, you may want to also think about um, eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. We talked about superfoods the other day. So a lot of uh, berries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, uh, legumes, uh, all different kinds of beans. So even though you're going to be eating your comfort food, and I might actually eat one of these tonight, even though I should be fasting. So William, if you see this... Um, yeah, I, I just can't help myself right now. But um, try to balance it out. As long as you balance out the good with the bad, generally you're going to be okay. Eric's Friday Channel. To be fair, boneless barbecue spare ribs from China in are, okay, yeah, I, I need to make sure I read that right. China in are my favorite, but I'm trying not to eat so much pork anymore. Yeah, I, I've tried to give up pork, but since I gave up beef, um, and really, if I give up pork, then all I'd have left is chicken. And I love me some chicken. Don't get me wrong. I love chicken, but I need to have more of a meat palate to choose from. And I'm not much of a seafood eater either. So it, it's got to be some pork for me. As a matter of fact, uh, I finished up some barbecue pork spare ribs that mom cooked the other day in the crock pot. And those were heaven. I mean, I, I could have, I probably ate two ribs. I probably could have eaten four or five, though. Luckily, there were only two left, so I didn't overeat. Uh, right now, I have a split screen with my emulator playing Link to the Past. Oh, good luck on that one. <laughs> That's a hard game. That If you guys have never played that, if you're talking about the one for the original NES, basically uh, The Legend of Zelda 2, that was a hard game. I couldn't get much into that. Rick Lake said, ribs the other night. We got Vault Pluto. I like, what is it? Perch. That's my favorite fish. Okay. Um, it has been years since I've eaten perch. Um, I used to get it when we lived in upstate New York. Um, we had a couple of freshwater lakes, and you could get perch out of there. Um, I've never been a big fish eater. I, I do like the, the occasional like uh, fish and chips made with cod. Uh, again, trying to stay away from the uh, fatty foods, but that is one of my favorites is uh, fish and chips made with cod or haddock. Um, if it has to be grilled fish, which I do enjoy, it's got to be swordfish. And you really have to have an acquired taste for swordfish. It is an acquired taste, I should say, because it's very dry and yet it's very oily at the same time. Eric can do it in 3.5 hours, 95%. Not me. I, I used to be a good video gamer. I used to play uh, Tomb Raider all the time. Okay, so I showed you that first comfort food of mine, and this is the second one. Now, not necessarily specifically this exact bag, but white cheddar popcorn. I love white cheddar popcorn. Now this is the Aldi uh, Simply Nature uh, non-GMO USDA organic. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not actually that crazy about this one. And it's not for the reason you might think. Um, the popcorn itself, it's like they didn't pop it properly and there's a lot of like unpopped kernels inside of the popped kernel so i would avoid this one um i'll probably eat it or eat as much of it as i possibly can but for being an aldi product i was very disappointed with this i honestly aldi i expected a lot more from your uh, organic popcorn there smart pop is good Oh, yeah. I had some of that in the closet. Well, I should say the, the Aldi equivalent, but we all know that it's made by the same company. Um, let's see. 11 watchers and two likes. Well, I guess we got a lot of people at home right now for obvious reasons. And you know what? I, I said I wasn't going to be afraid to say it, and I'm not the coronavirus. I mean, how many times can I say it and before they cut this off? Let's see coronavirus, 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 COVID-19, pandemic, global pandemic. I mean, what did, what did they say? What did um, Hermione Granger say in Harry Potter? Fear of the name only increases fear of the thing itself. And to me, that's what we're doing right now. We're so afraid to even say it that it's not helping us, folks. We need to make sure that we are not fearful. Prepared, but not fearful. You will hear me say that on this channel uh, over and over again.
tell you lately my typing skills are leaving a lot to be desired i may need to go back and uh, take a typing class i don't know how many of you out there are uh expert typist i used to be able to type like 40 words a minute I, i'm lucky if i could do 20 or 25 now but when you have little um sausage fingers like i have it makes it really hard not that necessarily they're really fat anymore but i have very short hands for a guy as a matter of fact we measure it up and my fingers are just slightly longer than my mother's Oh, well, thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys checking up on me. And that's why I try to do a live stream or something at least once a day. Uh, make sure you guys know that I'm doing all right. And I am doing okay. You know, I've had my I've had my moments this past week, to be honest with you. Um, you know, the best thing we can do now is not, make sure we don't watch the news all day long. The news just gets way too depressing. So... You know, you maybe open, maybe turn it on in the morning, you know, get the latest updates, find out what's going on, make sure you're not in a quarantine situation. But past that, turn it off and just go 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 through the rest of your day. There's no reason to harp on the news. It's just way too depressing right now. Uh, Eric sure likes to boast on this channel, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's all good. We all have to stroke our egos every once in a while, but we got to make sure that we don't have a lot of pride. You know what the Bible says about pride? Well, maybe you do. I don't. Just renewing some of my posts. I will tell you a, a big plus, and this is something that a lot of you resellers out there need to think about at the moment. Um, computer sales, at least the refurbished ones like I sell, are going through the roof right now. And this is an unintended consequence I really didn't think of initially, but what's happening is people are not able to go into work now. People are at home, and for the most part, they are telecommuting because a lot of uh, jobs, you can actually do that. You can work from home. And what's happening is people need a dedicated work computer um, to set up like a um, v, uh, v, uh, what is it, VPN, a virtual private network. Um, so instead of going out to Best Buy and spending five, six, seven, eight hundred, maybe a thousand dollars on a brand new PC, they're coming to people like me and they're buying these refurbished units. So those of you out there that do something similar to what I do, you know, sell refurbished desktops, laptops. You need to make sure you list it, list that stuff for sale because this is actually a good time to uh, be selling your wares. Is it a positive? It's a positive coming from a negative. So it's it's that thing about making lemons out of lemonade. And here's where you have to be careful. Um, you may be inclined to want to increase your prices, but this is not the time to do it, folks. People are hurting. There are people out there that have blue-collar jobs that aren't able to work and can't even make a living now. So financially, people are are being hurt right now. And this is one of my biggest pet peeves are companies out there that want to take advantage of the little guy when he's down. I'm never okay with that. I would never price gouge. I've had people suggest that I put the prices of my computers up um, but I'm not going to do that because at the end of the day, what if I need something from somebody else? What if something happens to me and I need to buy a product or a service from someone else and they do the same thing? They say, oh, well, we're it's supply and demand. We're really, we're really in demand now and we have very little supply, so we're going to go ahead and raise the prices through the roof. To me, that's just not right. Maybe some of you think differently, but I would never do somebody like that. Classic Mobile Home says hi. Hello, Classic Mobile Home. Uh, what's your favorite comfort food? For those of you that are just joining me now, we're, we're, we're talking a little bit about everything, but what is your favorite comfort food during these hard times? You're right, Rick. Always better to be fair and honest. Now, there is, there is something to be said about um, how, how can I put this without getting people totally upset with me, um, about being over-honest. When you are a salesman, 
When you're a salesman, you have to boast about your product. That's how you sell your product. Um, I would never say be dishonest about something. However, you can um, elude from certain facts. Um, like if you give me an example, perfect example, when you're selling a used car, I don't care how good you maintain your used car, odds are there's one or two little problems that, let's face it, you don't want the new owner to know about, or at least not to know about until it's maybe a month or two down the road. So certain things like that, you're going to want to hide during the selling process. There's nothing wrong with that. We all do it. And if we didn't do it, if we were totally honest, think about liar, liar. If we were totally honest like that, nothing would get done. We wouldn't sell anything. Business would not get conducted. And that's something that I had a very hard time learning when I was a kid. When I was a kid, um, I saw everything in black and white. You know, there was right, there was wrong, and there was nothing in between. And now as I'm getting older and I'm, I'm an adult, I'm realizing there is a lot in between folks. Whatever you do tonight, you have to sleep with tonight. Excellent point. Excellent point, Eric. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there that are sociopaths that could sleep no matter what they do to people. Klesmoum says chicken. Oh, yeah, definitely. Almost any way, in any way, shape, or form, at least for me. Except for fried. I'm not much of a fried chicken person. And it's not necessarily because of the fat. It's just because... I have issues with eating skin. If I have fried chicken, it has to be fried chicken that I make, and I remove the skin before I fry it. If you guys wonder why I keep doing this, I'm, I'm perusing Facebook Marketplace at the same time, kind of doing the uh, multitasking thing here. I'm really fighting not having some of this tonight, and I think I'm going to do it because, honestly, I've been really good lately about my intermittent fasting, um, and that's another thing. Uh, that's really something I want to talk about because there is a lot of evidence out there that shows that intermittent fasting will boost your immune system. So especially in these troubling times that we're in right now with this COVID-19 outbreak, you may want to consider doing some intermittent fasting. And basically you can start small. You can do a 12-12 to start. So you 12 hours eating, 12 hours not eating. Um, but if you want to do it real and you want to be serious about it, um, the 18, six is the way to go. So 18 hours, not eat or 18 hours fasting. And then was that six hours, uh, eating. Did you buy any more charcoal chocolate? No, I can't actually find that. I got those on clearance at my local Harris Teeter, which is a local grocery store we have here. I can only assume it wasn't a big seller and they're probably not going to get it in. Um, if if I get some in again, I'll I'll do a, an actual review of it though. Paul Ralph, a hearty lasagna. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Um, again, with me, it would have to be meatless because I can't eat the beef, but love lasagna. Shep shepherd's pie. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely a shepherd, a shepherd's pie. And you sense, see a theme here. We're kind of sensing a theme here. All these are kind of like high calorie, high carb meals, but that's okay. Once again, this is comfort food. I was fully expecting nobody to come out and say an apple or a kale and blueberry smoothie like I've been drinking. The idea being that you're going to be ingesting foods that are going to get you through the crisis, kind of make you feel good, maybe have that warm feeling that goes throughout your body. For me, again, it's um, it's popcorn. I've always been kind of a popcorn addict. I don't eat it so much, so much anymore because of my teeth, but I still eat it as much as I can. But it has to be like really, really tender popcorn. Wow. I actually have somebody interested in buying our trailer. <laughs> Not something I would have expected. Now, let's answer him. Yes, it is. Mm. 
making all kinds of mistakes tonight. I think I'm just overtired. Forectly. What is what is what is forectly, folks? I just tried to type directly and it came out forectly. I don't even think that's a word. As a matter of fact, I know it's not a word. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go to bed after this. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey Matt, oh, this is David or Devin Whitlock. Hey Matt, how about a grilled cheese and tomato sandwich? Sounds good. Um, I know my mother used to do grilled cheese and Campbell's tomato soup, but you know, that might be something to think about. I have a, a panini maker that I got from Aldi a long time ago, and I've been using it a lot recently, but not to do grilled cheeses. Let me see. I could probably cut, I could probably cut the tomato slices really thin, put a bunch of cheddar cheese or whatever I have on there, and then push it together. Yeah, I bet you that would work. It'd be good hot, too. I mean, a lot of people probably don't think about that, but tomatoes are really good hot. Um, fried, well, fried green tomatoes, not necessarily red, but any, any kind of tomatoes. Boy, I'm really fighting not eating this. I don't know. I don't know. Should I do another super chat challenge here? What do you think, folks? What do you, what do you think? Oh, I don't want to ruin my fast. All right, we'll see. But, um, all right, if we get to twenty dollars in super chats, I'll I'll eat this before the end of the live stream. I don't want to do it, but I'm hard up right now, so oh well. <laughs> so we got twelve watchers and six likes. Awesome, T bone. Okay, T. So a T bone steak. Yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see a T bone steak. Man, you guys are making me hungry. I tell you, I miss eating beef so much. I gave up beef for the start of my lifestyle change to lose all the weight. I gave it up for six months. And then after six months, I revisited it. And I was like, yeah, I've lost a lot of weight. I'm going to go ahead and start incorporating it back into my diet. And sure enough, the six months of fasting from beef made it to where I can't eat it anymore. I actually have an allergy to it. The Chinese controller is killing me. The D-pad is terrible. <laughs> I'm sure I got a few of those lying around myself. Uh, matter of fact, the uh, controller I got with my Compaq back in 1995, that thing was it was actually a decent controller for its time, but now that I took it out of storage and tried to use it, the, the – um, the D-pad and all the buttons are very sticky. They must use like a really cheap um, plastic. And just the fact that it was sitting in uh, in storage for a while, getting hot and humid, has actually caused it to feel real sticky. So I feel your pain, Eric. I really do. Give the candy bar to a fan, and have you tried the new cream soda, Dr. Pepper, yet? No. Now that is <laughs> – okay. Okay. You, you, some of you guys probably don't know. I've pretty much given up soda. As a matter of fact, the only quote-unquote carbonated drink I will ingest other than seltzer, every once in a while I'll have a Fresca. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see. I'm really not into drinking soda that much anymore because that really was an Achilles heel for me and it actually makes you get a sweet tooth, believe it or not. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that was a piece of steel cut oatmeal from breakfast this morning. I guess I'm not as good at flossing as I thought. I actually don't floss. I use a water pick because flossing, I just – can't get it in there. I guess my teeth are too close together. Maybe if I lose a few, it'll be better. 
So I haven't yet. I still have all my original teeth except for, uh, what is it, one crown up there. And most of that tooth is still there. But uh, I got to be careful, folks. Years of uh, sugary drinks and sweets and coffee are starting to take their toll. I will tell you, take care of your teeth if you value them because when you start hitting late 30s, early 40s, at all, you know what, all H-E double hockey sticks breaks loose and uh, you'll regret not taking better care of your teeth. Have you tried corn? I can't even pronounce that. It's a pretty convincing beef substitute. No, but I've tried like the Beyond Burgers, um, the ones you get at the supermarket and the ones they have uh, at Burger King and um, not Burger King, uh, IHOP. Uh, no, not IHOP. Um, Denny's. Denny's. Thank you. Um, and they're good. Yeah, I, have, I I think they're really good. As a matter of fact, if I have a, a craving for a burger, that's about the only one that I can ingest and not have major consequences. One-stop shop. I tell you, it amazes me the, the different things you can find in the Facebook marketplace. And believe it or not, uh, people are very, very entrepreneurial. They're actually selling uh, food, like comfort food. It, it's amazing. At first, I was like, who is going to buy this comfort food or, or any kind of food off of Facebook marketplace? But then I started thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? actually kind of an ingenious way to make a to start a business you know you have an idea for selling a specific type of food a lot of the one around here is uh, filipino food so lumpia and pants it um instead of investing all that money into a restaurant you know having all that overhead you start with uh with this you start selling it out of your house now i don't know the legalities of it but you know at least you get uh, you can test the water, so to speak, and if it works out well, you make money, then, yeah, you could start uh, opening up a, uh, a restaurant. So now that I think about it, it's actually really ingenious. This human well malware problem is causing all kinds of panic. Now Firestone Corporate is not allowing any vendors to go into their shop slash showroom. Uh, we have to wait outside for them to come get the parts. Yeah, a lot of uh, fast food places are doing that too now. You can only go to the drive through Though around here, people seem to be taking it in all in stride, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, man. I need to get to bed early tonight. I've been taking a lot of this melatonin lately, which really does help me sleep because I've been on the insomnia kick recently. I don't know what's going on, folks. I, I, if it's the weather change or the stress from everything going on in the world now, I just have a hard time sleeping. I guess a lot of us do now. But customers are allowed in the showroom. So it's okay if customers get sick, uh, but not their sales crew. So, yeah, I, I guess I guess they do what they have to do. All right, folks. You know, I think I'm going to end the live stream here because um, I'm actually getting pretty tired. And I think we've had some fun tonight. But I was curious. I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in, in knowing what kind of comfort foods you all like. So if you do, leave it in the comments. Thank you all for coming. Please continue to like and subscribe. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. That does help the channel. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.